Hello, ninth graders. This is Ms. Natalie Albelbisi, your English teacher for this year. I hope you are doing well, safe and sound, and I also hope that you are enjoying your vacation. Now, in this video, I will be discussing the first unit that we are going to tackle for this year. So we are going to start with unit number two, titled Survival, for a duration of time, I would say, seven weeks. Um, let's talk about the unit in general, right? And highlighted under the unit description. Now, in this unit, you, you will acknowledge that having a well-developed survival mindset can be the difference between living and dying during and after a disaster. Now, you need to understand that this unit focuses on the concept of survival in, in two different perspectives, or is explained through two different perspectives. The first perspective revolves around the idea that some people, they, they, like, the, they like to be risk takers, right? So they put themselves in danger. It's a matter of choice. And the other perspective focuses on the fact that Mm. As human beings, we always have this uh, survival instinct, um, the means of survival. We want to always survive, um, and we help each other in doing so. And this is very beneficial, just like, for example, um, an earthquake, let's say, right? Neighbors help each other survive during and after a natural disaster. Yeah? So you also understand that the field of survival, psychology, is still in its infancy. But there are plenty of proven ways to develop the adaptability, patience, and brain power needed to overcome the trials from adverse conditions. And here it focuses more on the aftermath of a disaster, how to survive. That's why psychology is a very uh, important, I would say, subject to integrate to. Now, you need to understand that each um, unit has its essential question that highlights essential themes in the unit essential and essential key terms. So the essential question for this unit is, what does it take to survive? Now, under this question, we have multiple of sub-questions that we need to uh, examine, uh, go through, and answer in order for us to understand the main themes um, in this unit. Now, in this unit, you will recognize what it means surviving a natural disaster, a medical illness, or even a test, right? Because if you think about it, our lives are based on our survival instincts. We always, survival is a concept that is found in each aspect in our lives. Okay, so survival is a big part of, of everyday life, as I mentioned. Through the ages, survival has been a common theme in many stories, both factual and fictional. This unit has been designed to allow you to explore all kinds of survival, physical, mental, and emotional. Physical, just like um, during a disaster, it is physical. But after the aftermath of surviving a disaster will alter to, let's say, a mental survival and an emotional one. In addition to relationships, in relationships, when we connect with, with people, survival is a very uh, important um, concept or, or, let's say, subject to focus on. Now, let's talk about the assessment objectives uh, in reference to this unit. Of course, uh, these objectives, they um, highlight the essential um, skills, English skills. For example, reading goals you'll be able to read and evalu evaluate arguments. Because in this unit, we are going to focus on argumentative writing. So the, the, the focus will be on evaluating arguments, uh, learning the elements of argumentative writing, and so on. 
Uh, number two, we have uh, under the reading goals is uh, for you to be able to read fictions, essays, and articles to better understand the ways writers express ideas. Um, as for the writing and research goals, as I mentioned, we are going to focus on the argumentative writing. Um, again, you will learn the elements of argumentative writing. You will write, you will write your own argument. Um, you will write for a variety of reasons, organizing and sharing ideas, reflecting on experiences, and gathering evidence, in addition to conducting research to clarify and explore ideas. As for the language goals, you will develop a deeper understanding of how authors use phrases and clauses, practicing using phrases and clauses in their own writing. And this is where grammar um, steps in and is, let's say, collaborate with this idea because English is a combination of skills. As for the speaking and listening goals, you'll be able to work with your peers to build one another's ideas and develop um, and, and communicate with one another, learn and um, um, incorporate audios, visuals, and text in presentations. <clears throat> now, before we continue um, with the integrations, I just want to discuss or let you be acknowledged with the content of this unit, right? Now, of course, as you know, we as we can't tackle everything in the unit. We need to pick and choose. So the first thing that we are going to tackle after the introduction to the unit is the launch text. We're going to talk about it in details. Of course, it's an argument model. That's why um, our essay writing will be based on argumentative, write, argumentative essays. And it's called the cost of survival. It's more of an introductory text to the unit as a whole that highlights uh, I would say the essential key terms and themes. And then we're going to move on to the media radio, radio broadcast titled The Key to Disaster Survival, Friends and Neighbors. And then we're going to move on to one of the beautiful, let's say, poems. It's a love poem uh, called, um, sorry, um, it's a, a very interactive poem, I would say, not a love poem, called The Writer. Uh, as for the grammar, we are going to start with subject verb agreement and then we're going to move on to the two subject complements. And as I mentioned earlier, for the writing section, um, we are going to um, learn how to write argumentative essays and then present and so on. We're going to talk about that in details in the introductory classes. As for the essential key terms um, for this unit, we have multiple or many essential key terms. I will mention um, some of them, such as survival instincts, uh, the basic elements of survival. We have natural disasters, um, life and death, a philosophical approach, or I would say life versus death. Uh -huh. And as you all know, um, as human beings, we are always in, I would say, in this minor or metaphorical battle um, of life or between life and death. And death is a very critical subject for all individuals. We're going to discuss that in details. And then we have the cost of survival, uh, the con uh, control and helplessness as an emotional um, uh, sensation, and then we have a philosoph the philosophy of life and death. Of course, we're going to discuss more essential key terms um, in the introductory and during the, the course of this unit. Now, let's move on to the subject integration. In other words, what uh, so other subjects are connected to this unit's themes? We have number one, environmental science because this unit talks about the survival of disasters. How, um, what or what are the effects of the environment on individuals? So many countries rely on the environment for survival, particularly during emergencies for food, shelter, energy, fire and warmth, medicine, agriculture, income gener uh, generation activities and more unsustainable use of natural resources can lead to environmental degradation. 
with lasting impacts on natural resources and on the well-being of the displaced and host communities. We are not talking here about disasters only. We're talking about, I would say, famine, for example, floods, right? They all affect individuals because as individuals, we are part of nature and we highly rely on nature for survival. So what if these things lack? What might happen? How can we survive? What are the ways? Of course, here you have on the BC, you have, um, I would say, an interactive um, website where you can go and, and, and examine if you are prepared for a disaster, right? Now, the second integration is psychology, that's for sure. Now, here, I, um, I would say we have two perspectives coming from the psychological, uh, um, let's say, uh, point of view, we have the first thing, we have the psychology of survival, which is surviving after a disaster. The mental um, aspect, which focuses on PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder, and, and, and its symptoms, right? Because surviving a disaster is very overwhelming in a very negative way, right? Uh, I mean, during the disaster, it's it's frightening, it's filled with um, fearful um, characteristics. So how to survive after disaster is a very complicated issue. So the psychology of survival stresses the mental aspects of who survives, who survives sorry, in disasters and times of crisis. The mind and body are intertwined closely in their reaction to fear and crisis situation, of course. we all uh, defer when it comes to surviving a disaster. But the body, that doesn't mean that the body, uh, uh, I would say, it acts, it does not act the same way, that's for sure, but each and every individual is different than another individual in his or her reaction uh, during a disaster as the brain is highly overwhelmed with the, the idea of fight or flight, and we're gonna talk about that. Um, within the, um, the psychology of fear, the human body acts um, as a whole rather than its parts. It is uh, integral to how people react to disasters and crisis situations. As you can see here, um, you can click just on the image, it's going to take you to, you can access the practices below that it is titled PTSD. It articulates the post-traumatic symptoms of disasters. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, that some people, they choose to be risk takers, right? And this is not always positive because you can endanger other people's lives just because you chose to be a risk taker, right? Now we must take some risk to live, a fulfilling life, or we risk missing out on everything good. This is, I would say this statement is highly common, right? But it has its own um, negative side effects. However, some individuals engage in unnecessary risks that put themselves and others in danger. And this is highly selfish, of course. Um, yes, so here you are going to find another, um, I would say, a site where you can access and practice. It's titled, are you a risk taker? You can examine. Are you a risk taker? You're going to answer some couple of, I would say, a couple of questions and you will know. Now, as for the unit project. Now, by the end of each unit, you are going to construct a project. Now, for this unit's project, I thought of a photo gallery. Let's talk about it briefly because when the time comes, you are going to be, um, I will provide you with a project page with the steps and details and the submission dates and everything. But for now, we're gonna talk about it briefly. Now, in this engaging project, you will collaborate in groups, that's for sure, to embark on a creative exploration that bridges the realms of survival and human resilience. 
um, you, are, you are tasked with constructing, the, the task revolves around constructing a captivating photo gallery uh, where you il illuminate the profound connection between survival and those who have triumphed over adversity in diverse settings and themes. And then after the, when you present, of course, this will be the final step, you are going to narrate through the, these pictures that are put in a photo gallery, you're gonna narrate the story. It's, it's up to you. You can either um, tell the story from your personal, you can take the story from your personal experience. Maybe you survived a traumatic, um, I would say, event. Or you just can learn about a specific story of survival where a person, an individual, survived a traumatic event, disastrous event, and then lay out, you need to lay out the story in a photo gallery and then explain it, narrate it, okay? Okay. Um, okay. Now. Now let's talk about the, um, the school's um, vision and the mission and how is this unit, I would say, highlighting the, the school's vision and mission. Now the vision of the school is, the vision of the modern American school is to nurture lifelong learners and global thinkers to become responsible citizens with leadership qualities and universal values while instilling pride in one's cultural identity. As for the mission statement, the mission of the modern American school is to provide learners with an engaging and challenging blended lear learning environment within a diverse community while focusing on international programs, catering, catering sorry, for learners' well-being, fostering international mindedness, and offering various opportunities and experiences that contribute to learners' growth. Now, after stating these statements, I would say, let's learn about the connection between the themes of this unit and the, I would say, these two statements. Now, here I highlighted some key terms, right? And you're gonna learn this with time, how to highlight key terms, because it's really important um, in, in, in the connection between these two. So at our school, the vision is to nurture lifelong learners, which is who are yourselves, of course, and uh, triggering the idea that you need to be global thinkers who become responsible citizens, embracing universal values while celebrating diverse cultural identities. You can't be restricted. You need to broaden your realms the realms of your mind, your mindset. Aligned with this, uh, the, the school's mission is to provide an engaging blended learning environment, as mentioned, uh, well-being, international mindedness, okay. So here, the, 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 the unit, survival, titled survival, you will, exp in this unit, you will explore the question of survival's essence, understanding its significance in various contexts because we're gonna take multiple of contexts, texts that are different, right? They, each text uh, that we are going to tackle highlights the concept of survival differently. They, you will acknowledge the well-developed survival mindset um, that can be life-saving during and after disasters with, um, uh, with the unit delving into the emerging field of survival psychology and proven strategies for overcoming challenges. And of course, <laughs> um, I would say surviving a disaster is challenging, but it requires a lot of knowledge and practice. Um, of course, we want to stress or to emphasize adaptable and resilient citizenship. Um, so, and through this exploration, you will be able to grasp survival's multifacets nature, aligned with the, the school's educational goals and uh, broader societal values. Okay. 
Now, here you're gonna find an article that will help you understand the survival psychology and creating a survivalist mindset. And of course, it's really important. By the end of the unit, you will be, uh, you need to answer um, some reflection questions. And as you can see here, I categorized um, each two questions under a specific title, like understanding survival mindset, exploring survival psychology, adaptability and resilience, connection between survival and everyday life, survival and environmental science, psychology of risk-taking behavior, emotions surviving in a relationship, and of course, questions that are related to the essential question. This all will, will uh, would help you and me find this, the, the, I would say, the areas for improvement and at the same time the area of strength. And we will work together um, to know um, what lacks, okay? So it's, it's more of a self-reflective tool, okay? And of course, on the same page, you're going to find, for each unit, you're going to find unit resources that are aligned uh, with this unit. Of course, you do, you do not need to limit yourselves to only these um, resources, but take them as leading resources. Okay? Thank you so much for listening, and have a nice day.